This is how to make spatialized ambisonic audio in virtual reality 180 degree video in Adobe Premiere. So what spatialized ambisonic audio is, is audio that will adjust to your head position instead of just uh, staying in your earphones like it would normally do with stereo music that you're listening to with say headphones. The idea is that when you turn your head from left to right, the audio will adjust to your new ear positions and it will continue to sound like it's coming from the same spot in the sound field. So uh, here we are in Adobe Premiere and I'm going to create a new project. So perhaps I'm going to call it Amni. Good enough. Now I'm going to import a video file that I shot with the InstaPro EVO. So it's 180 degree stereoscopic VR. So I'm going to import that. And as I roll over the video I just imported that's now in my project window right here in the corner, as I roll over it, I see that the size of this video is 5760 by 2880 in this little information window that pops up. 5760 by 2880, and that's a number I want to remember because I want to set my new sequence to be that in the ambisonic audio. So I'm going to hit File, New Sequence, and I'm going to pick in the virtual reality folder, the VR folder, stereoscopic, and I'll pick the first ambisonic audio one that's there because I'm going to reset the size. I don't really care what size it is. So here it is, and now I'm going to change the size to fit mine. So under sequence, I'm going to hit sequence settings. And here are my numbers, 5760 by 2880. So it matches my video. I want it to be stereoscopic side by side as this one is. And I know that my horizontal capture is only 180 degrees as well as my vertical, so I'll set that. Um, other than that, I should be okay. Yeah, I've got four channels of ambisonic audio. Good. Okay, uh, and you'll see the number four on your audio tracks here in the sequence window timeline. So now I'm going to drag my video and just drag and drop it over here in the timeline. There it is. And if I click on the audio track that I have that comes along with the video, there is a panner here in the effects window, if you have your effects control showing. Uh, I'm using the effects uh, window grouping right here. If I was in editing, it'd be a different grouping or assembly or whatever. Um, but I'm going to put in effects because I'm going to play around with this panning. So if I scroll that open, um, I can pan it left or right, whatever I want to do in the field. So let's say also I want to bring in uh, another audio track. That's just audio. It's just a wave. So I'm going to import another sound this un untitled sound here, and I'll drag that to a new audio track and click on it. And it will also have a panner. I can open up, scroll it open, and set it wherever I like. If I wanted to move, if, if I wanted to change where it's going to pan in time, um, I can do that too with this little um, animator clock button right here, turn it on, and change what's happening in time, and I change the pan, it will automatically make a keyframe, and then you can make things move from left to right or right to left 
So you just change the little playhead right here and you can make keyframes just by moving the panner. So that's how you can move it around if you'd like. So that's really it. I mean, it's, you know, once you set it to be ambisonic in the sequence, you can start just dropping in all your audio tracks and making your whole audio mix and all of that. And um, it will be ambisonic as long as you export it properly. So I'm going to export this. So I'm going to click on my timeline window and make sure that it is selected right here with a little blue box around it. Export my media. So in order, order to play this on something like YouTube, it needs to be H.264. You can give it a new name. So I can, I'll just call it sequence one, that's fine. I'll put it in this folder and let's check some settings. I'm probably gonna start out with video. So all this is fine. So I'll click on the video. And so it is 5760, 2080, that's all good. May as well do render at maximum depth, got a good render. Uh, all this looks fine. I might give it more bit rate than this. That's sort of how much information it'll pack in there at once. I'll just make it around 40 is probably okay. It is VR video. It is stereoscopic side by side. Okay, all that looks good. 180 by 180. So all that was pulled from the sequence. So that's why it's all set properly. But now I'm going to check the audio and make sure that I'm going to export the audio properly if I'm going to have ambisonics. I need to have ambisonics turned on. And the reason why that's grayed out is because the channels here, it says stereo. And I need to make that 4.0, four channel. And now I can say audio is ambisonic. And that's pretty much all you need to do for the uh, audio is just make sure it is at 4.0 on channels and that is ambisonic. And then you can export it and it will be ambisonic, which means it will register front, back, left, right. And it will also work on YouTube. So when you upload it to YouTube, it will stay ambisonic as well. All right, so that is about it. That's all you have to do.